So old, uh, uh, so old, uh, I got you, ooh, 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 wrinkles. And hello, beautiful people, welcome back. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. Um, I also hope that you're excited. Uh, two things, number one, today we're talking about the Makeup Revolution Glass Collection. It's not a big collection, but I picked up what they had. There were a couple of these highlights, um, which we're definitely gonna talk about because I also pulled my Lunar Beauty highlights. So we're gonna go ahead, talk about that, compare formula, packaging, all of that good stuff. Um, I also picked up the spray, the two primers, an eyeshadow palette, and a gloss. So we're gonna dive into all of that, but we're gonna wait just a second before we get that far because guys, we need to talk about my hair. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to look when I take it down. I had to put it up like, um, I don't know, maybe seven hours ago when I went to the store, which <laughs> I needed some produce. We were like completely out of like fruits and veggies and that sort of stuff. Um, so it was good that we like had some to choose from. The restocking people and all the drivers, you guys are absolutely freaking fantastic. Thank you so much. And obviously we owe a huge, you know, love and thank you and all of that to the medical workers and, and the, uh, the cops and the first responders and all of those people. You guys are all doing you're working insane hours and it's great but I just I really wanted to say a huge like extra thank you to all of the truckers and all of the people that are stocking the shelves because ultimately without those people willing to work overtime and willing to stock and willing to drive the produce all across the country and all and all the goods regardless of what kind it is uh, without them we wouldn't have anything on our shelves at all so you guys know me I like to make jokes and I like to try to be lighthearted um, I actually had little to no intention of bringing up coronavirus or any of that in my videos because I want to always be a source for you guys where you can come and laugh and um, kind of forget whatever the crap is that's going on around you. I just like to be someone that provides something a little different. So uh, you'll hear me make jokes and we're gonna, you know, have fun and whatever. But I just wanted to say before any of that, that I appreciate all of you uh, for not only watching, but for those of you that are doing all of those things in your day to day life to make it so people like me that you don't really know in my everyday life and all of my community to make sure that we can eat and, you know, still live our lives is really awesome. So let's go ahead without any further ado, because y'all know I I talk. Um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to zoom in. We're going to get a good up close look at Frita up here who's living her best, you know, <laughs> this life. And uh, we're going to start talking about some makeup. So let's zoom in and let's get started. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> that's, a little... <laughs> that's a little bit close. All right. So we're good. We're zoomed in. Frida's living her best little scrunchy life up there. My hot pink satin scrunchy. Yeah, that's right. I'm so bougie. Doesn't this look like the head of a bougie person? Yes, uh, but let's go ahead and talk about primers, shall we? Because this collection had two of them, and of course I have both. This is the Ultimate Dewy Finish Primer, and then I have the Glass Liquid Skin Illuminating Skin Primer. So let's go ahead and take a look at both of these. All right, so the first one that we have here is just a clear gel. It's called the Glass Skin Primer for an Ultimate Dewy Finish, and it says on their website that you can perfect the Korean glass skin trend with our glass skin primer. This dewy finish gel hydrates and smooths skin to boost natural radiance and leave a healthy looking youthful glow. Can be used alone for a natural dewy finish or under makeup to improve wear and create a gorgeous dew from within. So this does come with a pump here and it looks like it retails for $12. And all of this I did purchase off of the Makeup Revolution website, or I'm sorry, revolutionbeauty.com. Um, so let's go ahead, oh wow, y'all, that is who, I just like put a little teeny tiny dot on and like rubbed it around, do you see that? Whoa. It feels like oil. <laughs> right, and then the other one we have here is the Revolution Glass Liquid Skin Illuminating Skin Primer. And it says here that this is a silky serum and it helps to replenish and boost skin in need of a pick-me-up. It's specially designed to illuminate skin from enhancing the natural glow to create a subtle radiance. Use it alone or of course under makeup. All right, so I like that this comes with a dropper. It's giving me some Farsali vibes for sure. It has like the same kind of consistency and it looks the same in the bottle. Okay, there's there it is. You can lightly see it. It's not a crazy radiant. This one has a really nice light fresh scent to it and it definitely soaks into the skin way better than the other one does. You can see after I've rubbed this one in, it's just more of like a like a light subtle sheen to the to the surface right there like they were saying. Definitely has a nice serum feel to it. So I think how I'm going to do this for the purposes of my skin and for this video, I'm going to go in with a little touch of silk canvas and this is going to be just what I use more so through like the center mainly for pores and consistency. So now what I'm doing for the other two primers is I'm going in first with the glass skin. This is the one that felt really oily and I'm mainly keeping it and veiling it towards like the perimeter of my face. So I want to give this side a chance to sink in and on the other side we're just going to grab a little bit 
of the primer serum we're just gonna put like a little bit down there not very much there's about one drop right there now for the next several products I don't have anything um, that's part of this collection so I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom through some products here I'm gonna go in first with the YSL all hours concealer and do a little spot concealing this is something I've been doing every day in like my day-to-day -day life and I've been loving the way that it looks. This concealer is perfect for spot concealing. And now that that went ahead and took away a lot of the more intense like red areas, I'm gonna go in with some of the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I have this in the shade 10. And then I'm grabbing a little of my Tarte Shape Tape here. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. And then actually, you know what? Just in with a little bit of that, I'm gonna take a tiny dot of Hourglass Concealer and I'm gonna throw that in with the Tarte Shape Tape, just a little bit. Now, really quickly, before I run off of camera and do the other products, I wanted to do the foundation and the concealer on camera for you, just so that way you could see how the primers are looking underneath of it before I set my face. The side that had the more like oily type primer on it, the, what is this, the Glass Skin um, Ultimate Dewy Finish, it looks incredibly, incredibly dewy, whereas I feel like the one with the primer serum really did settle in, and I'm getting a much more like natural glow on this side versus the other side. Just wanted you to see that so that way you could kind of get a feel if you're like trying to pick one, you're not sure if one's going to be too much or whatnot. And I think from here, I'm going to go ahead, run off of camera. I'm going to apply, you know, the rest of my face. We're going to come back on because next up we have an eyeshadow palette. So hang tight and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I'm back. This is how everything has come together thus far. Let's go ahead and start talking about eyeshadow because I picked up, ooh, almost dropped it, but I picked up one of their palettes. I'm just, it's just one of those days, guys. Um, I picked up one of their palettes. This is the black ice shadow palette these retail for $15 a piece and it looks like they released two different palettes I didn't get the other one which was their uh, glass mirror shadow palette and I didn't get it just because the shades in there weren't like something I would really get a lot of use out of so here is the outer packaging of the palette am I the only one that kind of looks at that and I'm just like Ugh. like a lot of the shades look very similar but let's go ahead and swatch I want to swatch the brighter shade Ooh, wow okay that's bright um, I want to swatch some of these shimmers here let's go ahead we're gonna swatch just these these five um, I tried to do like an assortment okay so obviously swatches are not like indicative of how they'll apply to the eye but look at the pigmentation like those are one swipe y'all holy crap okay um so this is exciting it's it's official I'm intrigued oh I need a wipe I need a makeup wipe oh no uh oh there with the palette excuse me come back it was very rude. Don't ever do that to me again. Thank you. Paige, this is why we find things before we take our glasses off because now I can't see anything. Like, honestly, it would be more effective if I just laid on the ground and like did this. It would be more effective, honestly. Okay, so we can't find a makeup wipe of any kind. Cool, love that for us. All right, so I guess we're just gonna be careful um, and hopefully not get this all over our face. So that's the, this is risky. All right, so before I wreck anything else or lose anything, let's go ahead and put some Tarte Shape Tape on our eyelids so that way we can get primed and ready to go for some eyeshadow, for some eyeshadow. Who just caught how I said that? <laughs> oh, I'm singing. It's, it's, it's a spiritual experience over here, people. Okay, so here's what I'm kind of assessing at the moment. I think I wanna do something like neutral up top and then maybe pop this really bright shade, the one, the lower swatch there. I could maybe pop that on my lower lash line, but I do have to be careful with shades like this because they make me look bloodshot. So I kind of have to, kind of have to balance because I don't want to look like I just did, you know, like three vials of cocaine, uh, but I also like the color. So, you know, you got to like find balance. And also in this palette, there's only a couple of matte shades. There's like this dark matte brown right here, this lighter brown, this bright color, and then black. And there's also this uh, bone colored shade up here. But other than that, the rest of them them are shimmers. So I'm definitely going to be doing something a little bit more neutral. Oh, what is this trash? Okay. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I just swatched this right here. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Next to these like boom, boom, boom. And then Wah, wah. Like, what even is this? Ew. I swatched it and it feels not good. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the, Ooh, the green one that has promise. Let's swatch you. Ooh, okay, that one's actually real pretty. Okay, I'm sorry, what even is this pathetic little pfft? No, okay, so, so far, what I can tell you, like this shade right here, not good. This shade right here, also not good. So that being said, the overall consistency thus far in this palette, not good. Um, like the shimmers just seem to be very hit or miss. Like either they're really, really nice, shiny, reflective, or they look like this gold little chunk turd right here, which is just not it. So that's very underwhelming. I'm very curious to see how these mattes blend out. So we're gonna go ahead and start off, I think, with the brown shade, oh, excuse me, this brown shade right here. 
And I'm just gonna take that, this is a Morphe E23. Uh, they're not too kicky, which is nice. Kicky, <laughs> there's a term. Uh, let's go ahead though and like stamp this out here, kind of lift up the outer portion of the eye a little. All right, all right, all right. I see what we're doing here. I see what you got going on. I smell what you're stepping in, lady. What are you doing? So, so far, this brown is working really nicely, which for me is like, <laughs> let's face it, it's a requirement. Like, if you can't make a good neutral ass brown color, Honey, we gotta talk. Then we're also gonna grab the bone color shade up here on the same brush and we're gonna use that. Ooh, that's got a lot of color to it. Can you see that? That looks good. Uh, we're gonna take that and blend out the brow bone area and just soften and diffuse that a little, little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. This is the Scott Barnes 62. And I'm gonna dive in to this darker brown shade right here. Obviously, we're just kind of working our way through the matte shades. But I wanna add just a little bit of this to the outer V and kind of pinpoint it and then lightly pull it up and a little bit into the upper outer crease right here just to help give me a little bit more depth and definition. So this is where we're at right now. I love the way that that dark shade blended out. It actually worked very, very well. Um, but at this point, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in. I'm gonna grab my NYX glitter glue right here. You guys know this is my jam. I use it all the time. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of that and I'm going to throw it up on the inner portion of my eye right through here. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade. This one looks really pretty. It has like a nice gold tone to it. Yep, definitely liking this shade. This does feel a little bit like thick and chunky in the pan or like when I kind of swipe through it. So my only caution would be if you do pick this up and try to use it, um, be mindful of that because it very easily could kind of fall out on your face a little. Now I do want to come in here and just add a little shading to like mix those two areas. So I'm going to go back in with the original brown matte shade that we ran through the crease. I'm just going to lightly kind of throw that right here. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth just to give me a light little gradient. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, all right. Right, okay, oh yeah. Like totally freak me out, I mean right on. Uh, uh, uh. The Toro shirt on number one. I'd like to say I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm just weird, it's who I am. Okay, so with all of the shimmer on and applied, I do think I wanna still hit the lower lash line with a bright little pop. So I'm gonna grab that shade right there and I'm gonna throw this on a Morphe JS6. Girl, she has got some color, okay. And uh, I'm gonna pop that right underneath. Oh, okay, so the payoff isn't shabby, wow. I did not expect that to look so bright, that's for sure. Whoa. <laughs> I, look, <laughs> I look like if the Powderpuff Girls were gonna play football. <laughs> that's what I look like right now. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, try to fix this. So I'm gonna grab the bone colored shade and I'm gonna use that to diffuse it on the bottom side here. For some reason, pink shades like this one, it's the undertone of them. They always look way more intense on my under eyes than they actually are. I don't know why, it's always been like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and I'm gonna throw a little bit of the darker shade. I can't believe how funny this looks. Um, we're gonna throw a little tiny bit of the darker shade on the outer portion of my eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this dark brown right here. And the this is a BH V20 brush. We're gonna pop that up close to the lower lash line. And now I'm just going in on the inner portion of my eye right here with that bone colored shade and I'm kind of blending it back just to free up that area a little bit and blend it against it. And it actually looks really pretty. I love this bone colored shade. I feel like it's really working for me. Like, let me look at that. Do you see how bright that is? That's so pretty. Could I use that to brighten up my under eye? Is that a weird thought? Oh, wow, okay, so it's really bright. Um, I really think you could use that to brighten your under eye. Wow, it actually, I think it does kind of brighten y'all. In a pinch, you could use this as a brightening shade for your under eye. Dang. Okay. All right, guys. So I know it looks a little bit <laughs> intense at the moment, but I'm going to leave the eyes where they are for right now. And I really feel like it'll finish coming together once I add my mascara and my liner. But you guys know me. I have a weird way, like an order that I do things, an order of operation, if you will. And um, I just, I like to do it my way. So I'm going to stop there and let it look a little crazy for right now. And we're going to go ahead and start talking about some other products. Uh, the next one actually is setting spray. It says that this is an ultra fine weightless mist that sets makeup in place with a gorgeous dewy finish to increase longevity and help prevent pesky smudges. Ultimate Dewy Glow Spray will leave you lastingly hydrated. And of course, like all the rest, you can use it with or without makeup. Let's go ahead and give it a spray and see how that part goes. That's always like a, the, my first initial test. Ooh. Wow. 
what the hell is that smell? I don't know. Like, it's not a bad smell, but it's not like a smell that I recognize. It's almost like a clean chemical smell. <laughs> Industrial laundromat. Kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like how you got like the big laundromat machines. It's kind of like that. I have a very keen sense of smell. I have the, you know, y'all know I got this brain tumor and it makes me like have the most heightened sense of smell in the world. It's very interesting. Okay, so it has a nice mist to it. The smell is, it's not like bothering me or anything, but is it necessary? No, um, but it's not a bad smell, so that's good. Now, let's go ahead. I'm gonna do like a test patch here on my hand. I don't see no glitter in this, so we're really hopeful. It looks like it's just a straight, like like a glowy setting spray. I don't see glitter or anything in it, which is good. Um, they did have a spray on there. It's the only thing from the collection that I didn't look at. It was like this iridescent spray or something, and I was like, absolutely not. That's what I live my life trying to get away from. So we're not gonna touch those, but let's go ahead and give this a little spray. So I like the spray aspect of it. I think it's a decent spray. Um, it's not like ultimately glowy. Wow, my forehead's creasy. Y'all, all 30 of my years right now are showing up in the wrinkles on my forehead. Oh my word. Oh wow. <laughs> I feel old. Neener, 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 neener. I knew that I would now. Neener, 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 neener. So old. Uh, uh, so old. Uh, I got you. Ooh, 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 wrinkles. Da, da, uh, uh, uh. Um, I just got a little distracted. Um, but as far as my skin goes, I think it's nice. It's not like super crazy dewy hydrating. Like when I spray it, I wouldn't say um, that it's any more glowy um, than like a normal setting spray. But y'all, while that sits on our skin and you know, just does whatever it's gonna do, let's go ahead and talk about the main event, the thing everyone was talking about, these glass crystal illuminators. Now I did pick these up in two different shades. I have, what is this? It looks like glass crystal and glass mirror. Let's go ahead and open these up and take a look. Here they are out of their packaging. Does this remind you of anything? Anything at all? Um, I don't know, like maybe the Lunar Beauty one? Like guys, they're literally the same. Even the facets are the same. Like I'm actually blown away at this. Now me just kind of thinking about this and I have a lot of opinions, you know, per usual, I have thoughts on everything. But the first thing I wanna say before I get into anything is that these were sent to me. Um, I am an acquaintance of Manny's. I'm not gonna say like we're best buddies, but I do know him. I talk to him from time to time. And um, I did get these sent in PR. I do get PR from Lunar Beauty. So I, and I can speak unbiasedly, like regardless if these were crap, I would tell you they were crap. They're not, they're fantastic. Um, I really like them. They were in my year end favorite. I believe. I've talked about them several times, um, but I always like to disclose that because to me, I can speak without bias, but I think it's important that you guys know um, if I did or did not pay for something, if I do or do not have an acquaintance with someone, I think that's important because um, I try to remove any and all bias, but at the end of the day, is it possible? I don't know. That's up to you. You know, if you think I can, then I can, and if not, I just think it's important for you to know. But for me, what bothered me about this more than anything is, and I, and I don't know if it's just that, like, I am a small business, so maybe I'm I'm a little bit more sympathetic to small business, like in the real world. Um, but it bothered me that they copied an independent, like small business. And I think I would be just as upset, like if it wasn't Manny, let's say it was somebody that I'm not affiliated with. So Cosmetics, that's a really popular one. It's like an up and coming indie brand. Um, and a lot of people really love it. I think I would be just as upset if Lethal Cosmetics came out with this crazy awesome idea and they were like, hey, I'm gonna blatantly steal your packaging or your concept or whatever. I feel like there's this, standard where when you're dealing with an indie brand like there's not as much money and finance in that realm and I just feel like for me personally I know I'm a little bit more protective of like indie brands and small businesses because as someone who owns them and again that might be my bias um I just have a really hard time when brands take like especially a large brand like Makeup Revolution like yes they copy everyone yes they will blatantly steal your idea your concept your color scheme you know it, it, it's, it's what they do I will say my hardest critique if you are gonna copy anyone. I don't care if you're copying um, a big brand or a little brand, I have one like standard thought and that's if you are going to copy, blatantly copy somebody else's stuff, again, whether it's packaging, design, concept, color story, whatever, um, it needs to be good because you are going up against somebody that did take the time to develop that color story, that um, that concept or that, um, that formula of the product that's in there. If they took the time to develop that and you wanna copy it, y'all, you better bring it because I, I 
I will hold you to a higher standard because you didn't spend the time and the money and the research and the development on those things. You took someone else's. So I hold you to a higher standard because you're trying to copy what they did put so much time and energy in, um, if that makes sense. And again, everyone has a different opinion, but for me, it was really important to test these out because not only do I have these ones from uh, Manny and I know that they're good and the formula is really great, um, but I also think it's just, I don't know, to me, it was really important to test them. So let's go ahead and check on them because don't get me wrong, they could be really good. The formula could be awesome. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Editing page here. My hair looks about the same as it did in this video because this is how she looks every day. Uh, but I wanted to step on really quickly and mention something to you in the middle of this entire thought process um, about this, you know, situation with Manny and let you guys know if you don't follow him or if you're not familiar with um, his channel at all. He actually did put up a video. It's Sunday right now while I'm editing this for tomorrow morning. And he did put up a video today going through this entire thing and talking about um, what happened with his molding, the fact that he did create it. He puts like things up on the screen. So you can see it um, and just kind of his process and how he feels on the situation. So if you guys are curious about that, I just wanted to interject and let you know that it is up and I will go ahead and link his video down in the description box if you're curious about um, that side of it and just, you know, his thoughts and opinions on the entire thing. So I just wanted to stop on it, let you know that that is there. And I think this will be the only time you see me. So uh, go ahead and enjoy the rest of it. Don't forget bloopers at the end and it's a long one. So maybe we won't get a snack. We all need snacks. So go get a snack and watch the rest of the video, obviously. Um, okay, so it probably would have been great if I wouldn't have just stuck the butt of this pan into this one, but here are the two shades that I picked up. I have Glass Crystal Illuminator and Glass Mirror Illuminator. Okay, so this one has like a, oh, it feels like slimy or something. Hold on, not slimy, slimy is not the right word. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and swatch both. What the hell, what is this texture? It's like, it's like a putty but like not a putty and they're like iridescent. Eh, I don't like this. Okay, I don't like this texture, but let's go ahead and swatch them. All right, so we're gonna build it up a little bit, give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's go in, swipe two. All right, come on, highlight. Um, Where's the highlight? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, you know, just because if you're gonna copy, I'm gonna compare. All right, so this is his middle shade. This is the shade Mars. Let's go ahead and give it a swatch. Put that right there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, let's go ahead and take this is oh, this is one of my favorites. This is the shade Mercury. Mm, this shade is so good. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this one on my pinky. And these are oh, phew, crap. I just went I put the, I accidentally got a little bit of this shade into that one. Let's be real here. Look at Manny's two shades, which are beautiful versus these. Like, do you even see highlight right there? No. OK, does that help? <laughs> Like, I'm legit trying to show you. Like, I promise they're swatched on my actual wrist right now. You can barely see them. And then look at Manny's. Bam! Now, lately, you guys know I've been really liking this buff-in motion for my highlight. So I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution highlight. And this is a Morphe Y10. I'm just going to, you know, wiggle it around in there, get it good and coated, just like I normally would. And then we're going to go ahead and kind of highlight. Ooh. It does have a really beautiful glow to it. I'll give it that. I feel like you can't really see it on this side. Hold on, let me do the other side. Cause yeah, you can definitely see better over here. Like, look at that. It does have a beautiful payoff to it. Wow. This is why we always are fair and we talk about swatches, we talk about consistency, but we also always apply. So I think one thing that I do like more, I mean, I like Manny's in general, um, but something that I really appreciate that he did that they didn't do is they didn't put like any sort of a base color to this. It's just like a stark kind of white highlight. Whereas with Manny's, he gave it like a yellow undertone. So when I apply it to my face, while it's still blinding, it actually does kind of sink in with my skin skin tone a little bit and it makes it look a little bit more skin like ish versus this one which looks like it's just really you know it's it's a really beautiful highlight but it's over the top and it's just like a white you know kind of highlight on my skin all right y'all it's the time look at that <laughs> y'all one swipe and we got that chalupa chin that we've been dreaming of our whole lives look at that oh a little bit on the cupid's bow come on, 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 on. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a song for you um but that's like it look it does look really pretty again the difference being that i'm getting almost more of like a milk mustache kind of thing with this one because it doesn't really settle into your skin and have that undertone to it now at this point it's time to move into the last item i did run off of camera really quickly i applied some mascara um which was just my benefit roller lash and i did throw on some liner and i told you guys a little while ago when i was talking about the eyes i felt like liner would really pull it together and i think it really 
really helped. Um, after the mascara, I did just some L'Oreal black eyeliner on top, on the top waterline. And on the lower waterline, I actually used a Maybelline white eyeliner. Um, and it looks really, really nice. I think that that white eyeliner just pulled and it kind of softened that pink a little bit. And it just looks per like this eye look came together so nice. I actually really like it. Um, and then I also went ahead and I did line my lips with the L'Oreal Age Perfect Lip Liner. This is in 10 Bright Mocha. Let's go ahead and talk about this gloss. This is their glass lip gloss. I have it in just glass. It's just a clear lip gloss. I'm literally sticking this thing up my nose. <laughs> it smells like, like rose. What a look. I don't mind if it has a scent, but I don't want it to be like a floral scent. I want it to be like vanilla cupcake or something, like something that actually is like appetizing on my lips. Is that weird? I don't know. Um, obviously I would, I would prefer like no scents in general, but if it's gonna have one, like, I don't want it to be rose scented because I wouldn't eat a rose. Like, ew, I would eat a cupcake, bitch. I'd eat a hundred cupcakes. I love cupcakes, but I don't really, I don't know how I feel about this. Anyways, let's go ahead and apply. See how it looked. It's very, very smooth, which I do appreciate, but it has like a heaviness to it. Kind of like the one primer here, the Ultimate Dew Finish Primer, Dewy Finish. Um, that one had like a heaviness to it um, that made it very oily. And this has a similar consistency where I can definitely feel it. And there's a lot of other glosses where I don't have that situation. Like I say, like, you know, the Fenty, the Lunar Beauty Gloss, those um, are some, those are two of my favorite glosses of all time. And they have a beautiful, rich, glossy payoff without all of like that heavy feeling. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. Like I would wear it, but it's definitely not like, I don't think it's something that you need. I think I would get the one from Essence before I would get this, my opinion. But all right, beautiful people, this is the finished face. We are gonna go ahead, obviously, and jump into a close up so you can see how my skin is looking um, with all of these products on it. And I think the first thing, you know, kind of leading into that that I wanna discuss is the primers because obviously those have been on my skin the longest and I am noticing that they're doing some interesting things. So let's go ahead and throw up the up close. So I do want to go ahead and start, like I said, with the primers and I want to focus in around my mouth, which is an area where I do crease sometimes, but I don't typically crease this bad this fast. And I don't know how much of it will pick up on camera. I'm hoping that I, you know, I'm able to zoom in enough and kind of show it to you. But around my mouth, as well as the Hulk wrinkle on my forehead and a bunch of other like mini Hulk wrinkles on my forehead, I'm noticing that with both of these primers, the one thing that's very consistent is the creasing. Um, now don't get me wrong, it could just be that I do have um, that kind of going on, but I'm also noticing separation a little bit on my foundation, like it's almost breaking up already. The other thing that I am noticing and that I know you can't see on camera, which I really wish that there was a way that I could get you to see like finite texture, but up on my cheeks, like right through here on both sides, um, do you remember me talking with these highlights, how I said that they had like that consistency to where if you pressed on it, it left like an indentation. They had kind of like that soft touch um, kind of like Stila Heaven's Hue highlight kind of, you know, push in type texture to them. What that texture is doing is causing some texture and like breakup right up in this region. You know what this reminds me of? And I just went ahead and I pulled it out of my drawer. This reminds me of a hybrid between like the Stila Heaven's Hue highlight, how they have almost like that greasy kind of slip texture to them. Um, and then, you know, with that press in kind of texture and the shine of the Fenty How Many Carrots um, highlight right here, because this one has a very similar kind kind of slip and consistency to it, but it doesn't, like when you swatch it, you're kind of like, eh, like that's really weird. But then when you apply it to your face, it actually looks really beautiful. I use this to top um, on top of like other highlights that I just use, you know, whether it's like a pixie highlight or another one, I like to use this just as a way to like target, add some really beautiful bling. And that is what this texture reminds me of a lot. With that, you guys, those are my final thoughts. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, do you like videos like this? Do you enjoy when I kind of, every once in a while, I like to check out the Makeup Revolution collections. How do you feel? Um, you know, how do you feel about everything in general? Leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. If you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, those will both be listed in the description box. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed and turn on your post notifications, please be sure to do that as well because I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan, y'all. I almost just forgot my own outro. That's how tired I am. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> y'all have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Looks so good. <laughs> Who is she? I mean, honestly, <laughs> I would date me. And I think I want to come back in here and fill just get. <laughs>